The federal government will allow U.S. Airways and American to merge, creating the world's biggest airline and the third mega carrier in the U.S. The Justice Department had sued to block the merger, but the airlines agreed to concessions, like giving up some landing rights and gates at some of the nation's most congested airports. The government was very concerned that this merger would increase airfares for passengers. And some routes, it still will. But by giving up these slots at two key airports, lower cost airlines should be able to come in there and offer some competitive flights. And the airlines have said their deal would increase competition by creating another big competitor to United and Delta. AP airline writer Scott Meyerwitz says smaller carriers are likely to get more access to key airports. The two immediate winners in this deal are JetBlue and Southwest, which are going to get more access into New York and Washington. Beyond that, the FAA is going to try to auction off additional slots at these airports. Smaller airlines such as Allegiant and Spirit, as well as Sun Country, could benefit from this deal. A federal judge is expected to sign off on the deal. The merger could be complete in December. Sometime after that, the U.S. Airways name will begin to fade from view. Holders of frequent flyer miles on either airline can expect to see those accounts merged. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.